creating a test. This tutorial will demonstrate how to create a test in Blackboard and deploy it in your course. This demonstration will provide the basics to get you started with building a test independently. If you have test questions provided in a course pack from a publisher and would like assistance implementing the content in your course, please see your designated instructional designer and online studies department. To get started, locate the control panel. Click on Course Tools. From the Course Tools menu, select Test, Surveys, and Pools. From this screen, you have the option to individually select Test, Surveys, or Pools. Select Test, followed by Build Test to get started with your first test question. Complete the test information page. Enter a name, description, and instructions. Description is optional and click Submit. You are now ready to build your test. To build a test, you can create questions, reuse questions, or upload questions. We will use Create Question to build this test. Hover to activate a drop-down menu to select the type of question for your test. I will choose multiple choice for this tutorial. Fill in the information for your multiple choice question. The question title can always remain blank. By default, Blackboard will pre-fill this space for you based on what you enter in question text box. The question text box should be your actual test question. For example, my test question will be, what are the four seasons? Only enter the test question in this space. Now select your test options. Answer numbering. Choose the display for your answers. I will select uppercase letters. Answer orientation. By default, this should remain vertical. Choose whether or not to allow partial credit and to show answers in random order. Select the amount of answers. The default is four. Also as a default, the correct answer will always be answer one or A. So be sure to click the radial next to the test box with the correct answer. In each text area, type in one answer. Keep in mind our question is what are the four seasons? Once this is complete, one correct and three incorrect, click on Submit. You will return back to the questions page. You can add additional questions by repeating the steps, starting with selecting Create a Question from the menu. From this screen, you will begin to notice a summary building of your test. Take note of total points. Total points can be set to each question based on the amount of questions you intend on building for your test. To edit this, click on the numerical value and change the number to a value of your choosing. You can edit the points of each question or equally disperse the points by select all, entering the points, and update. Total points should always equal 100. Once you have completed your exam, click OK at the bottom of your screen. You will return to your test home screen and should now see a list of all assessments. The example exam is listed below but not deployed. In order to make this available to students, you must deploy it. Select weekly units from the blue navigation menu. 
select the week where you wish to deploy the exam. For this example, I will deploy this exam in week one. From the main screen of week one, hover or click on the Assessments tab to activate a drop-down menu. Select Tests from this drop-down menu. Since we have already created our test, click on the specific exam title to highlight the test you wish to deploy. In this case, our test was called Example Exam. Click Submit. You will see the success message, letting you know that you have deployed the exam correctly. This will also automatically open the Test Options page where you can change the availability of the exam, allow the exam to open in a new window, set a test timer, select the number of attempts, and other options. Once complete, click Submit. Your exam is now in your course and in your Grade Center. Remember, new items added to Blackboard always appear at the end or the bottom of your screen. To rearrange the test to a more appropriate location, simply hover to the outer edge of the item, simultaneously click and drag up or down, and release the item to lock it into place. You can always return to edit questions and or test options. Edit test will direct you to the test bank to make changes to the actual test questions. Edit Test Options will direct you to the Options menu. Be certain to complete test options prior to students taking the exam. As students complete the exam, Blackboard will grade the test for you and record student grades in your Grade Center.